Hey, it's me Sassafras and I have just spent the weekend working on making my very own DIY wobble board and I'd posted pictures on my Facebook and on my Instagram and I'd gotten a number of comments asking how I did it so I um silly did not take video um, while I was doing it I barely took pictures while I was doing it um, so, but I'm still gonna walk you through what I did um, because if you like me want a wobble board for your dogs but are not that interested in paying the cheapest one I could find that didn't look that great on Amazon was like $75 going up to like, you know, $160 or something. And I didn't want to pay that for a wobble board. I figured I could do this for cheaper and I did. So if you want to know how I made a $10 and 66 cent wobble board, Here's stay tuned. Wobble board that I made. Um, I finished painting it yesterday. It's all dry now. So this is just a round piece of wood. I'm going to insert a picture um, of the piece of wood that I got at Home Depot here. Okay, so that was a piece of wood. I found it um, while we were at Home Depot. My partner was buying a bunch of wood and things for a different project. Uh, and I was really bored. And then I saw this round piece of wood that was perfect. And I was like, oh, I should make a wobble board. So then to do the wobble, here it is. The backside is painted a little less nicely. What I did, I had read all kinds of online tutorials that were like slice tennis balls in half do all kinds of things that sounded very complicated and like gorilla glue them on uh and I was preparing to try to attempt those things when I texted my trainer and mentor and was like I'm making a wobble board I just have to figure out the wobble you should always ask people who are mentors and your trainers how they do things because it saves you a lot of time and reading a lot of dumb blogs um on the internet uh and her suggestion was to take an old sock i had this old sock put a tennis ball inside this is the part i should have taken a picture of this is just a tennis ball it's right in the heel of this sock and staple gun it down um oh this one has come off so you have to monitor them um a little bit this is not that surprising that this one came out because we've been doing a bunch of Look at this, I can take pictures while I fix it. So these came out probably, um, they're just staple gun staples, while I was painting it and moving it around a bunch. So I'm gonna reapply those. Um, I'm gonna put those staples there. And actually I'm gonna go throw those in the trash and get the staple gun and we'll be right so back. back. We have our sock that needs to be further pinned down. I have my staple gun and just going to just gonna put in a couple extra there and a couple extra on this side and that is nice and secure I imagine I will have to sort of update these um, every so often uh, as they wear and tear but that's not a big deal um, to do it takes almost no time as you just saw I already had a staple gun um, I could have probably cut this sock and trimmed it neater. I might still do that, but it's underneath, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, I guess I could. Oh, look at that. I can bobble that over there. So that is the underside of my wobble board, and it has this circle because I painted it. Uh, I had put all of this on before I painted uh, to make sure it worked, and I had it sitting on a little flower pot. So that's the shape of the flower pot. So here is the wobble board all finished. It looks really good. I wanted uh, it to be cute and circus themed. Uh, Charlotte, you wanna try the wobble board? Charlotte, come. Good girly. Can you wobble? Yeah. Good job, pumpkin. Uh, and so I just uh, painted a star on it with some um, hard wearing waterproof paint. Good girl. It's very much the same paint I use. Um, for other outside projects and it worked great. So Charlotte loves the wobble board. Charlotte's very familiar. Wobble. I know. Good girl. He's spin. He's spin. Sharp ready. Spin. Yeah. Good girl. With wobble board. Sirius does not historically love the wobble board or actually she did when she was a very tiny puppy um, at puppy agility class. She comes with me where I assist to agility class train. Uh, and she went over all kinds of things like wobble boards when she was much younger. She's still a baby. She'll be 18 months old tomorrow. Um, but when she got bigger, she got more nervous about it. And once a, seeing it once a week or every couple weeks when we pull it out and we go to agility, uh, she's getting there. But I was like, it would be much better if you have access to one at home so that you can regain your confidence with things that move out from under you. 
So this is serious, serious upright, and she's already sure. Serious pause. I know. So switch pause on it. Yay for you! Sure. Serious pause. Yeah. Look at you put a foot on there. Oh, you got two feet on there. That is very brave for my serious bear. Good job, baby. Yeah. Serious, can you put your feet on. Serious, can you pause? Sure. I know you know. Serious. Good girl. That's a good girl. Serious. Pause. Pause. Yeah, they got those big feet on there. What a brave girly. What a brave girl. And that is a huge improvement just from Thursday night when she went to Agility last. Uh, and getting two feet on it was not a very comfortable thing for her. And she's happy to do it. Uh, it really helps for her to see Charlotte. Pause. For Charlotte. Here to see Charlotte happily um a wobbling and because she really looks up to charlotte so that is my diy wobble board i hope that this was fun Ooh, it flipped. and um yeah i'll see you later thought i would um take a tiny bit more video um do you like my puppy dress it is one of my favorites um i know my dogs are also really wet we went swimming this morning maybe i'll include swimming video in this we'll see uh, we have a dog friend coming over for brunch in a few minutes. Ready? Pause. I know it. Good girl. That is such a brave girl. Yes. Yes. Pause. Can you? Oh, you can. You're so brave. Having this at home definitely is up in our confidence, huh? Yeah. Yes, I know. It's good for you for balance. Getting used to things moving under your feetsies. Can you move another step? You can. Yeah. You can. I know. Thinking about it. Yeah, good girl. Good job, buddy. Getting video. You want to swim, dude? Yay! He's a swimmer. He's a swimmer. <laughs> good boy. What would we like the nice people to do? We want to say, please, yeah, please subscribe, and please watch our channel, and please, yeah, please give us a thumbs up or a paw up if you like this video, and please come back for more. Say yay, good curly.